Hi everyone. All right, so I'm gonna make a video number two about the basics of Fitzmaurice voice work tremoring. Um, I'd recommend that you start with the first one if you haven't checked it out yet. It's I teach the um, legs in the air tremor and I also talk a little bit at the beginning about why I feel that this, this work can be a really useful tool, um, especially right now. Um, today I'll just add that, that it's so important for us to use our voices, to search inside and get really quiet and clear about what is true for us, what is most important to us, um, what we're deeply passionate about, what we believe in, and the truth that, that we need to express because it's vitally important now more than ever that we all look inside ourselves and find out what's true and then express that in whatever ways make sense for us. We each have something unique to offer the world and it is vital that we do that right now. The world is, is demanding it of us. Um, we need each other. We need each other. And so uh, I'm, offering, I'm offering this uh, also as a way to explore the voice and, and what we can say. Um, so today we'll learn the healthy cow tremor, but we'll start with just a, a spine warm up and a breath a breath warm up. So feel free to sit in a comfortable position or lay on your back if that's more comfortable. Um, just find a place that feels really comfortable for you. And just find yourself there, whether you're seated or lying down. And take a few breaths. And first, just notice, without trying to really change your breath, just notice where it is. Does it feel shallow or deep, quick or slow? Where are you aware of your breath? You feel it in your nose, your throat, your chest, ribs. Do you feel it in your belly? other places where you feel it. Just notice for a few moments here. And then if it's comfortable, take a deeper breath. So fill up through the nose as you breathe in, and then sigh it out. Do that again. Fill up deeply through the nose. And sigh it out. So now whether you're seated or lying down, let's just um, bring the awareness to the spine, be beginning at the top of the head. So just Kind of see, feel the top of the head. Like bring your awareness there and as if you were looking at yourself from the outside while also feeling from the inside. And there's no way you can mess this up. So it's just about bringing a focused attention to the top of your head. And then sort of moving down the head into the base of the skull. And if it helps, you can sort of wiggle your head back and forth a little bit to bring that awareness there to where the spine meets the skull. And then bringing your awareness down through the neck the top of the shoulder blades where the, the spine is at the top of the shoulders there. Down the spine between the shoulder blades. Sort of gently curving but strong that spine that holds us, supports us. 
down between the ribs, the center of the back, and into the, the mid back, down into the low back, that sway of the low back. The vertebrae get, get nice and big and really supportive in this area. And down to the pelvis connection of the spine. And all the way into the tailbone. And then we'll just do, do a quicker sort of elevator awareness up the spine. So starting at the tailbone, up through the pelvis, the low back, mid back, upper back, neck, and the top of the head. And one more time, even faster, just bringing our awareness in a more cohesive way, starting at the top of the head, down through the neck, the shoulders, mid back, low back, pelvis, and tailbone. And then on your own, just two or three more times as you breathe, as you breathe in, imagine the, the awareness going up the spine to the top of the head and breathing out down the spine to the tip of the tailbone. Just shifting that awareness up and down the length of the spine with your breath a few times. Up as you breathe in, down as you breathe out. Up as you breathe in, down as you breathe out. Great, all right, so now we're gonna just learn the healthy cow tremor here. So, feeling that awareness of the spine, find yourself on all fours here. And um, hands right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips. Find a place that feels really rooted. Um, and so we, we feel our spines really specifically here. So in tabletop, it's um, common to have the spine really sort of um, flat and supported and rigid. But for this tremor, what we want to do is let it hang more. And this might feel weird, but um, in between the shoulder blades, you can let your spine sag. So it's as if... Um, it's as if the two shoulder blades are, are what is supporting the weight and you're letting the spine sort of drape in between them. So if I push up through the palms of my hands and then <laughs> let the spine drop down, you don't have to do it that fast at first if it feels weird, but pushing up and then letting it drop down so that the spine is really suspended in between the shoulder blades rather than holding you up let it drop play around with that see if you can if you can find that so it's, it's the spine is hanging it's draping it's loose and not holding the tension all right and then you're gonna find the cow for for my yogis right the cow is the draped back so you can do the opposite cat cow is what we want here cat cow here a nice draped Spine and again letting the shoulder blades support the weight of the spine here. Also with the neck, you just want to let the neck hang loose and freely so you're not looking, you're not like holding your head up. Let it hang here. Okay. So that's those are like the really the basics of the setup of this. And then to explore the tremor to find it. Just start to bend the elbows just slightly. And for me, it really starts to get going as soon as I do that. If it's not, I'm just gonna stop because it's hard to talk while I'm doing that. If you're not finding it, um, go back to those basics, right? Setting up, letting the spine drape between the shoulder blades, finding a really exaggerated, Sway in the back, letting the neck hang. So really take some time to set that up. And then you can bend your elbows more. <laughs> 
if you bend them a lot and try to hold it there, I almost guarantee that your body will start to shake in some way, right? And that's the tremor. And there's no wrong way. Um, as you explore, it can be really useful to see how much muscular tension you can let go of, right? So that you're not like trying to, uh, it's hard to do it and talk at the same time, so that you're not trying to hold yourself in that place. So, so the more you play with the tremor, try to let go of as much muscle tension as you can and, and in that find the flow state. Um, and then as you explore also, just uh, let the breath be what it is. So instead of trying to control and have like long breaths or whatever, just let it be and uh, feel free to make ridiculous fluffy sounds. <sighs> it's a, <laughs> it's a, uh, a voice exploration, right? The Fitzmaurice voice work uh, is an exploration of the voice and the breath. Um, and again, this one, like, it's probably hard to hold it for a long time. So feel free to come in and out of it, take breaks, uh, rest back in child, child's pose, right? Like back like this to give the back a break. Um, and yeah, just see what you find. If you start to get, um, like any kind of scary emotions or uncomfortable emotions that <laughs> my hair looks awesome um that that is totally part of it it can be part of it uh there's nothing wrong with it if you're comfortable to explore them and move through them do that um and just kind of see where it goes if it starts to feel too much I suggest um, coming out of the tremor and going in, either into child's pose or laying on your back um, and doing that grounding work, um, coming back to the spine, coming back to the breath, uh, rooting down in, in the basics of, of your surroundings, the senses, what do you see, what do you feel, um, what do you hear. Uh, it can also be helpful to to find your feet. So so if you're feeling really sort of shaky and ungrounded, it can be helpful to stand on the ground and even like stomp around, just kind of reclaim the grounding. Um, so yeah, that's Healthy Cow. Feel free to explore. Let me know what you find.